ropes has been an issue for a number of years. Beekeepers have been kind of on the ropes dealing with varroa mites, with tracheomites, with uh, resistance to antibiotics and some of the bacterial diseases they have. And now this is just kind of another big problem. So uh, whatever turns out to be the cause of colony collapse disorder, the, 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 the question of honeybee health is a pretty serious one. And one that you know a lot of groups are working on. It, there seems to be a little extra urgency I think not enough is known of the colony collapse to even know what we're up against, you know. Uh, we feel that we've made uh, demonstrable progress, I think, in the breeding program. There's some things that we can numerically show. For example, when we started the program, our bees would, were, were hygienic, using this hygienic test, uh, after 48 hours. And we kind of quickly got to that plateau. And so then we changed the uh, stringency to 24 hours. So now, uh, most of these colonies, if we do this freeze-kill brood test, they will clean it out within 24 hours. We're selecting for a number of traits that are apicultural traits that are considered to be important, say, by beekeepers. So this would be honey production, uh, disease resistance, as we assay it based on this freeze-kill brood test or hygienic behavior. We also select for uh, winter hardiness. You know, they have to live through the winter here in the Palouse. Uh, spring buildup is measured by the, the uh, number of frames of brood early in the spring that the colony has. You want colonies that build up relatively rapidly in the spring because we have a short time before the, the main honey flow comes. Um, we also select for um, a thing called short-term weight gain, which is related to honey production. So we measure the weight of the colonies uh, at a certain time in the, when the honey flow begins and then a certain time later. And that relative rate of weight increase during the honey flow has been shown through a number of studies to be highly correlated to the final uh, honey production of the colonies. So we're, we're selecting kind of indirectly for honey production. We're not waiting to the end of the year and then counting up the actual pounds of honey, but we're, we're measuring the rate of growth of weight during the time the honey is coming in. So in temperament also, we're trying to select for bees that are gentle. Mr. Bees, it's a specific behavior where the bee is able to detect underneath the capping that there's something wrong with the larva there. Oh. And then they will uncap the, the cell and remove the larva, throw it out of the hive, or eat it. And in the case of uh, larvae that have, or pupae that have mites on them, you know, the, mite, it, the mites can only reproduce in the brood cells. And so it interrupts the mites' reproduction, even though they don't necessarily kill the mite, but it interrupts their ability to reproduce. And in, uh, altogether, it can reduce the, the rate of growth of the mites. So bees that are highly hygienic, uh, it's been shown that there's a correlation with resistance. Keep bees. Uh, especially on a commercial level, beekeepers need to use uh, chemical control, some sort of control of these mites, because normally these mites will kill a colony within two years if they're not uh, treated. And uh, the uh, use of these um, pesticides brings with them a risk of accumulation in the wax. So. We've gotten some combs that were from colonies that collapsed, from colony collapse disorder. And we'll be doing some experiments to compare them with combs from healthy colonies. We'll have our queens laying eggs on both the collapsed colony combs and the uh, control combs at the same time. We're taking frames of, of uh, brood and frames of honey to put in these little mating nuclei we're making up. So we're, take, we're coming over here, we're shaking the workers off into this sieve that, they, that uh, prevents the drones from getting down into the cage with the workers because we want to make up our mating nuclei without any drones or males because we want to control the matings of the virgin queens out uh, in the, the breeding yard.